Hello and welcome back to the Nerfing Truth. Um, sorry about this guys, but I had to take a massive break from the YouTube channel uh, due to basically my job just picking up. Uh, I took on a couple of freelance gigs, all of that sort of stuff, so life kind of took over, which was unfortunate. Uh, but now I'm going to try and be back as much as possible. Uh, we'll see how that plays out, but hopefully I'll get up and uh, be able to get some good videos to you guys. So right now what we're going to do is another episode of the Nerfing Truth uh, Nerf News. So I will see you after the link. Alright, so what is on Nerf News today? Well, let's see, we have actually quite a few things. Um, as you guys know, almost all of the new blasters that we talked about last time are up on shelves. Uh, the Demolisher is there, the Slain Fire, um, all of those guys are up now. Um, the Cam has been found in some places, uh, not all though. Uh, granted, I'm not that upset about it, I'm not going to get that blaster. So, anyways, uh, let's talk a little bit first about what Nerf has to offer. Uh, Nerf is... Currently, there is news, a very blurry image that I'm going to uh, post up here, as usual. And then uh, I'll let it take up the full screen so you can kind of see while I'm while I am talking. Um, a lot of it is blurry, but you can see a lot of things. This will be the 2015 lineup. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a Nerf Mega Jolt. Um, now, we have found out some more details about that. I'll talk about it a little more afterwards. Uh, but Nerf Mega Jolt, uh, Nerf Mega what looks to be almost like a sidearm maverick type deal uh, will be probably a revolver. Uh, then you also have what looks to be almost a uh, striker styled shotgun. Uh, you've got the front lever which looks like it'll rotate that barrel and fire the shot with the trigger pull. Um, otherwise for the elite line uh, you've got a lot of just kind of out there different blasters which I was not expecting. Um, you've looked, you have what looks like to be a clip fed, um, in Nerf they're called clips, don't ask me why, but a clip fed um, possibly pump action crossbow. Uh, you've got of course the repainted uh, Strife, repainted uh, Retaliator, which will all be getting those XD ranges. Um, you've also got what looks to be... Um, don't even know how to describe it at the bottom there. I'm hoping it's a full auto blaster that's just out of this world. Uh, you also have what was talked about earlier. I didn't cover it though. Is the Rhino Fire, which will... I mean, I hate to break it to you this way, but will basically be uh, two, um, whatchamacallits, just blanked on the names, uh, two rapid strikes uh, side by side, and essentially the back part will be similar to what a Humvee machine gun will have, where you kind of press the buttons and it's going to fire both. The barrels are supposed to go like this as it's firing. Uh, it carries a hefty price tag of a hundred US dollars. That's right. Remember when we thought the cam was expensive? Yeah, they just came out, or they're going to come out with a hundred dollar uh, Nerf Blaster, basically. Um, essentially, people are calling it the predecessor to the Vulcan they would be pretty accurate in that statement. Um, it looks like it's going to be cool. It's a holiday special blaster, so that means that it could be limited availability and it will only be at Walmart, uh, which if you're like me, I have hard times finding blasters at Walmart because they don't stock them that often. Um, but yeah, that 
covers most of the nerf stuff. I mean, there's blasters on there that I have absolutely no idea what they will be about. Uh, hopefully, once we get more information in the following months, uh, more speculation happens. I'll keep bringing that news to you guys. Otherwise, uh, we got Busby. They just rolled out their new line. Uh, you've got the Blazooka, uh, the Vampire Hunter, um, the Gunsmoke, which in my previous nerf news I had said would basically be uh, like the double shot. It's not quite, I mean, you prime it the same way, but it only shoots one shot and then the smoke comes out afterwards. Uh, some models have been found to be flawed, but of course you can just exchange it for another model. It actually works pretty well. Um, otherwise, you've got a couple of other Busby blasters out there, but the biggest one that I would recommend you go out and get right now is the Blazooka. It is a lot of fun. It's a bazooka. Uh, it can be singled, of course, but, you know, crazy ranges, fun to use. Just go out and get it. Um, otherwise, I have seen at Walmart as well um, an XD Elite Stockade, uh, which means that it had the claimed range of 85 feet. Now, people who have gotten their hands on it, sorry, I guess I've jumped back to nerf a little bit. I forgot what I was doing here. So, um, people have gotten their hands on the Elite XD Retaliator, which claims 90 feet, are basically saying it's the exact same as the 75 foot one, um, which is disappointing to me, so it's unsure what to say uh, about the XD Stockade. Now, granted, that's a flywheel blaster, so it'll get similar ranges to the Elite Demolisher. Um, so that to me is good because I missed out on buying an Elite Spectre so hopefully they'll come out with an Elite XD Spectre and I can uh, get that front barrel. Otherwise uh, it's also good news for the possibility of the Elite Alpha Trooper coming back in stock at Target. Um, there's been a lot of speculation about that so it could happen. As for Boomco, they're still putting commercials out there. They're still trying to sell their products. Uh, same lineup, no new blasters right now. Um, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. I've got a couple. They're a lot of fun to use. Um, so if you think that'd be fun, go out and get them. Otherwise, skip them. Uh, they do not shoot Nerf darts. Um, nor will they with e any easy modifications. Um, so then we also have uh, Tech Recon. They were going to come out with a new blaster, but that has been fully delayed. They are not coming out with a blaster this year as of their news release so far. Um, that will come out hopefully in 2015. Um, otherwise, Snipe Kickstarter... Uh, did not fail, but they basically had to take it offline due to the uh, Israeli conflict going on right now. So, hope those guys come back up. I liked their idea. For those of you that don't know, it was essentially a nerf type dart, suction dart that you could shoot at your touch screen. Um, so, like an iPad, it would not harm the iPad, but it would stick to it and the program would of course respond to the touch of the dart. So basically they made a real life Nerf shooting gallery, uh, which I thought was great. Otherwise, uh, there is a blaster out there that everyone is excited about. It's only 20 bucks. It's an off-brand blaster. I uh, can't remember the name, but I'll put a link to it in the description. It is called the Scorpion. Uh, fires 70 feet from what people are saying. Uh, slow rate of fire, but it is a chain gun, so it rotates the chain and fires about every 1.1 second. Um, so if you want, go and check it out. That one it, I also have seen in stock at Walmart. So that about concludes Nerf News for today. Uh, we'll see what the upcoming weeks hold, and hopefully I will do another one. See you guys later. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, do whatever you want with it, comment. I'll try and answer those. Uh, but most of all, 
You guys stay classy. See you next time.